On this day, I wrestle my last match. Da -na 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 -na. Edge, guys, he could be gone after tonight when he takes on Sheamus on SmackDown. Welcome back to Fog Wrestling SmackDown Preview. And I tell you what, you're watching Old Raw. You're going from watching the Ruthless Aggression Era to talking about this shite. And automatically, it puts me on a downer. Yep, puts me on a downer. And if Edge ends his career on a... Smackdown match against Sheamus. All right, fella. Oh, me hit brog, brog kick. Me hit the brog. It's fight night. To see if I hear my Cole no, say no, that tonight, no, no. I'm going to fucking get the biggest knife and put it into my wrists. And we know he's going to say it, so I might as well get the knife. Handy. I don't need to go that far, man. Jesus Christ, it's bad wrestling. It's not worth dying over. It says. Right, well. Anyway, let's no, get. Is there anything worse than Michael Cole saying that? And he said it twice the last time I watched. Well, it. Give me Michael Cole or Kevin Patrick. Right, but that's. Oh right. fuck, he's going to be here tonight as well. Oh. Change the commentary teams. Oh. That, that's a big downgrade for SmackDown, in my opinion. I've actually noticed that about Raw. Even though Raw is still pish, the last two weeks the commentary has been much better with just Cole and uh, Barrett. Now SmackDown, you've got. Cole, fucking Corey Graves, who I can't stand, and Kevin Patrick, who... Kevin Patrick, for me, is the worst commentator of all time. Now, I know people will scream Mike Adamley, but Mike Adamley was so bad, he was funny. Mike Adamley couldn't even pronounce the names of the wrestlers or the moves. So, therefore, there was, like, a funny element to Mike Adamley. Jeff Hardy. Um, there was, <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Like, huh. there's nothing funny about Kevin Patrick and his wee annoying Irish fucking voice, is there? No. What, what's Cody Rhodes going to do? That was uh, I don't know. <laughs> that was Top of the morning, Cody. <laughs> Top of the morning to your laddie. Oh, fight night. <laughs> why, doesn't he, why didn't he say fight night? Why doesn't he say fight night? I don't know. He's fight night champion. Boom, boom. Anyway, let's go. Uh, Edge taking on Sheamus tonight during his 25th anniversary special. You know, Edge just doesn't feel that special to me anymore. No, he's done. You know what? I'll be honest. I don't think his run, his return, his three years back in the company has been that good. When you break it down, I was happy to see him come back. Don't get me wrong. But just compare what Edge has done on his return compared to like what a Brock has done since he returned. Yeah. I mean, or what, even what The Rock done in his small period of returns. I'm just, in terms of people that have been away for a long time and then came back, I, this Edge one hasn't impressed me. i tell you what, I think... If you look at it from when he came I, back in the Rumble until the match against Reigns and Brian, I think it was I think it was good. Everything he did was quite memorable. Brian stole his thunder. But since then, what's he done? I actually prefer Christian on Collision. That's mental, isn't it? Christian! Christian! Anyway, uh, Edge versus Sheamus tonight. I've seen some people say, oh, what a time for Edge to retire. There's no better way to go out than on your 25th anniversary going out against a hand-picked opponent and one of your close friends. No, there, there is a better way to go out. Fucking WrestleMania and a match that actually means something, not a match against Sheamus on a shite SmackDown that means fuck all. Yeah. This is not the match for Edge to go out on. When was the last, when was the last match in Dora with we a career on the line? I think, I think Sigler and Miz did it, but really, who gives a fuck about Sigler? I refuse to believe Edge is done, because he did say, although, how long Seth Rollins had that belt? That new belt, because he said he wanted to win that two months and have a title reign, but then then drop it and leave. So who knows? Maybe he did want a two month title reign. I I think they should have gave Edge that belt. Why the fuck wouldn't you? Seth Rollins is a gimp. Look at the stadium. This big fucking red boot. Two fucking mega stone boots, man. They come clown shoes. Fucking way more than him. Comes out wearing Becky Lynch's fucking wardrobe. I mean, what what is the guy doing? Uh, I I don't see how Edge wouldn't have been a better option. I mean, Edge would have gave that belt credibility, and then whoever beats it's beating Edge. See whoever beats Seth Rollins, what are they doing? Oh, I'm beating the guy that couldn't even beat Austin Fury for the US belt. Speaking of the US belt, how'd that go for you? Uh, US champion tonight, Rey Mysterio, is going to be on the Grayson Waller effect. Say what you want, I said it when the guy got called up. I think Grayson Waller's one of the best things in WWE, and he should be a guy that as a future world champion. It's not going to happen on SmackDown because no one can be a champion on SmackDown other than Roman Reigns. Who did Waller lose to a couple of weeks ago? Everybody. Everybody? No, he's, he's not won a match since he joined the roster. No, he lost to someone a couple on, weeks ago and, and on, went ballistic about it. And on, Smack, and on NXT he was losing. I mean, I don't think the guy's won a match since... He hasn't won a match since TakeOver when he lost to Johnny no, Gargano. I just, no, I, no, that's what I it's said. It's fucking embarrassing. I said. Why not LA Knight against Grayson Waller at SummerSlam? Why not? A feud. Both guys are great. 
Fucking, why not? The guy's calling it The Rock. He's trying to get The Rock of The Rock and he can't even fucking beat Santos Escobar. But what chances have I, I think it was Santos Escobar. No, but what chances he got caught? You know what I mean? He's calling it The Rock and you might think, oh, maybe we'll get something, but the, the guy, he can't beat fucking Navy. So who we got, realistically, who are we going to get? Yeah, like, like what, The Rock's just going to come back and go, you can't even beat this guy. Don't even know his fucking know, name. Pa pa you can't even beat Pablo Escobar. Yeah, chump. And it's not like, oh, Santos Escobar, push it on. Santos Escobar's fucking six years older than Grayson Waller. That's and, mad. And probably won just like one more match than him. I, I just don't get it. Oh, Grayson Waller's young. No, he's not. He's very fucking free. Push him now. Is he? I, I always thought he was like in his early 20s. Damn. He's 33. Early night. Grayson Waller? Who is it? Is it? Well, I'm some koala bears. Who is it that says, no, you want to have a slow build? Eric Bischoff? I have a slow build with early night. The fucking guy's 41. We need slow build. God fucking damn it, Eric. 41's past retirement age in wrestling. Get the fucking belt on him now. This slow build nonsense. What are they talking about? Uh, Wait, no, see, no, see in the 90s. Look at Brad. should have wear it to get all the fucking draws. Uh, yeah, no, don't, don't, don't fucking don't steal all the good guys for WWE when they're, when they're in their, when they're they're in their prime. Too, wait, wait, till, wait till they're all done and they can barely move. Then bring them over to WCW. They barely moved anyway in their matches, so... Fuck me, the most action we got was a finger poke of doom. But let's talk about Rey Mysterio, Escobar. Right, they're on the hot seat tonight with Grayson Waller. The hot seat? I think it's obvious that Grace, uh, uh, Escobar and Rey Mysterio are, are going to turn. I, I can see Rey Mysterio getting kicked out the other What happened to Rey getting injured a couple of weeks ago? So that, was, that wasn't real. Cave it. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I see Santos Escobar turning on Rey and Rey getting kicked out the LWO. And if you kick Rey at the LWO, then the, the LW, LWO's dead. Yep. It's you may as well just go back calling them Legado del Fantasma. My legal world order. That's actually a good one, I like that. I said a couple months ago. Like, um, I don't get the same pop. No, that was pretty good, actually. I don't remember hearing it a couple months ago. Uh, so, yeah, that's my prediction for that. But yeah, no, I W O. Grayson Waller and Ellie Knight, just two guys that have been fucking wasted, man. Who gives a shit? Oh, they're not the greatest in ring work. Who, who cares? Don't fucking annoys me though, who right? Who fucking cares? Don't annoys me. They always go on in wrestling about, oh, Triple H coming up with a brand new air. Giving Rollins the we've fucking seen Rollins with the belt. And Give all it he, the actual fucking new people. All he does is feud with Finn Balor, something we've also seen. I'm sick of seeing it. Well, what difference? What, what fucking difference is it giving Rollins the belt? We've seen Rollins for fucking long title reigns before. No, it's a joke. No, I... Like, see people, well, who would actually rather see Rollins hold the belt than Edge? Edge hasn't held the fucking belt in like 15 years. Give Edge one last run, then when he loses, he can put somebody over and he can... The, not, only does, not only does the person get to be Edge for the title, but they also get to retire Edge. I mean, if that's not enough to propel you to start them, then what the fuck is? I mean, you've got Grayson Waller taking on Edge on his SmackDown debut. You could have Grayson Waller fucking beating Edge for the belt and having them retire Edge. But no, we're not going to do that because we're, we're we're fucking shite. That's what we're that's what we are. We're shite. But Triple H's in charge, so when he does, when Triple H's in charge, we'll pretend the show's great. When McMahon's in charge, oh, there's McMahon ruining the show. It doesn't matter who's in charge, right? It's garbage every single fucking week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bianca Belair and Charlotte Flair battling to take on Eo Sky and Bailey in a tag team match. What what this tells me is that Asuka's just been fucking completely. Kicked at the picture. Oh, but Triple H is in charge now. He's going to give Asuka that title run she deserves. Yeah. How, how mediocre was that title run? I'm shite. What did she do? Won the belt. Feud it with Bianca Belair. I mean, she never even got onto a new opponent. Yeah, didn't she, she won the belt off Belair. And then, uh, did she even defend? I think she defended it once in a one-on-one -on -one match. By cheating. I don't even know if she did that, though. But she never got onto a new opponent. Yeah. Just lost it straight back to Bianca Bell. And why the fuck did Bianca Belair need to win just to get cashed on anyway? I know it's so they can do Bianca Belair versus EO Sky, but... So who's actually the champion of EO Sky? Aye. Uh, what the fuck's going on down to me? EO Sky. Bianca Belair beat Asuka just so EO Sky could cash in. Because I guess they want EO Sky to cash in on Bianca. But this is just another way to get Bianca a cheap title fucking so run. Is Charlotte, is Charlotte Flair leaving soon then? Well, she's not going to get the belt, uh, I'm not sure she'll be gone, like... Probably right around the night. I mean, Charlotte will probably attack Bianca, then disappear for six months, and I'll then rumble. be like, "Hey, I'll face you at Mania, bitch." And that's probably what we'll get. Anyway, that that is the pre and, and Jay. So, what we see him tonight? What's the crack with Jay? 
I mean, Jay's got the right idea. He knows this show fucking sucks. When he left. He's like, co this company's garbage. I quit. I'm getting a time machine back in 2002. That's what Jay is. So was doing. Aye, three minute warning. Clock's ticking and it's time to kill. You got three minutes. Aye, three minutes. I wish Smackdown lasted three minutes. Unfortunately, it's two hours. But it's not as bad as three hours. I will, I will say that. Anyway, let's give the predictions. I'm going to go with Edge to beat Sheamus because... At this point, if Edge doesn't, then he may as well just retire. Yeah, Sheamus is getting pumped here. I am going with, I mean, the Grayson Waller effect. It's a guy that can speak good English against two guys that are illegals and shouldn't even be here, so... Well, I mean, Grayson Waller's is an illegal. He's not... <laughs> ah, he's I would say Grayson Waller's more likely to have a visa than me. has yeah. been here for fucking 40 years, mate. Give him a break. Ah, is that small? The cops can't see him? Alright. Oh, how did he hop the border? Must have used a fucking ladder there, SA. Is this going to result in Grayson Moore getting beat up? <laughs> Probably. Four on one, fucking LWO, just barn him. And then the last match, Bianca and Charlotte versus Io Sky and Bailey. Uh, I'll, I'll go with, I don't know, either Charlotte Flair turns on Bianca and then they lose, or Charlotte Flair and Bianca win. Could we see a fatal four way match in the future? I don't know. Uh, is there even point? What's the point of damage control? Bailey's claiming to be the champ, it's even though she's a, not. It's just a mess. I just, I, I hope all four of them just get injured and leave TV. That's a bit extreme, isn't it? No. Anyway, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with. Bell Air and Charlotte. Aye. Aye. Eos guy's the champ, doesn't need a fucking win. Aye. A WWE logic. Bailey's not going to win. I mean, you're the champ and you can get buried non stop until you defend your title. But no! Eel Sky's the champion now, and how fucking lackluster is this? Remember when she took on Bianca Belair in Puerto Rico? That was the fucking time. You talk about you talk about opportunities when they should just call something on the fly. Yeah. See that match? The people fucking wanted her to win. Try with going ballistic, good up, yeah. Why not make a quick call? Yeah. Fucking put it in the ear. Cole. Yo, Cole, get get somebody get the referee's attention. Tell them, switch up. They could they could do that. In wrestling, they can do that. See if McMahon's sitting backstage or Triple H and they want to change the match mid 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 match, they can make that happen. No, no why not though? I, we we watched it. Should have happened and it didn't happen. But no, it happens like four or five months later when it's dead and no one cares. So, yep, no one cares about this either. So, I oh, dead it though. I mean, what was what was it like when she cashed in? Was it was it better than Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. I mean, no, what? no one gave a shit really. I didn't give a shit. I know. Anyway. No, but Bianca Belair held that belt for over a year. What was the fucking point? She held it for a year just to lose it to Asuka, who'd done nothing. Then she wins it back off Asuka, then loses it like two minutes later to Io Sky. Why not just have her retain it, don't have Asuka win it, and then have Io Sky cash in and end the big fucking 400-day title reign? Yeah. We just had we had this year-long title reign get ended by Asuka for no real reason. Oh, mist in the know. eyes. Mist in the eyes. Oh, those chocolate eyes. Anyway. I don't get it, guys. Anyway, that's it. Smackdown review the night. Might be a long one. Half an hour. Who knows? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Ten minutes. All one. Till next time. Peace.